and just uh, go ahead and excuse Brother Mike. Uh, uh, you know, he uh, was stumbling and fumbling around. Uh, but see, when your better half is not here, yeah. <laughs> see, when, when, when Sister Dewan is here, he gets his food. <laughs>
these things be? And what will be the sign? Now, we, we, we're going to play on that word this morning, Brother Chuck. Mm -hmm. The sign. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He says, and what will be the sign of your coming? We want to know what to look for. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes. And of the end of the ages. And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceive you. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. For many will come in my name, All right. saying, I am the Christ. Lord, have mercy. And will deceive men. Yes. When you look around at all of these televangelists. Uh, yes. And uh, just telling people to receive God in your heart, and that's all you have to do. Oh, have mercy. Packing stadiums with 50, 60,000 people with false doctrine. Mm. Verse 6. And you will hear wars, uh, wars and rumors of war. Yes, when you look at the news, we're always hearing something about a war about to break out. Brother. Yes, sir. Uh, see that you are not troubled. All right, now this is Jesus trying to get you calm. He said, you're going to see some things in your lifetime. All right. He said, but well, I want you to stay calm. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. He says, uh, for all these things must come to pass. Yes, sir. But the end is not yet. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. right. He said, for nations will rise against nations. Yes. Kingdoms against kingdoms. Yes. And there will be famine, pestilence, and earthquake in various places. Yes. yes. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and to kill you. Mm. <laughs> and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Mm. And then many will be offended. Yeah. Uh, will betray one another. In other words, people will turn against people. Mm. Yeah. And will hate one another. Right. Then many false prophets will rise up deceiving men. Mm -hmm. yes. And because lawlessness, now that word lawlessness, uh, that means when things are out of control. All right. uh, that means that there is no law. Uh, that means a person uh, has got to the point that he doesn't respect the law. Mm -hmm. yeah. He says, uh, and because lawlessness will abide. In other words, when you look at our government, yes. uh -uh. Uh -huh. and right. when you look at uh, what Amen. has just transpired in our governmental system, Amen. and we see how lawlessness yes. seems like it's getting, that word abound is a verb. Yes. Mm -hmm. It means it's a continual action. Mm -hmm. yes. It just keep on growing. Right. Yes. And he says that lawlessness will abound. He said the love of men will grow cold. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's going to get to a time where people stop loving yes. one another. Mm -hmm. yes. Where it is uh, seemingly, where when you see love is not expressed in the world anymore. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Then he says in verse 13, but he who endures to the end shall be saved. All yes. right. I'm telling yes. you about you. You got to pay attention to the sign. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you got to endure to the end. Mm -hmm. All right. Verse 14. And the gospel of the kingdom will be preached mm -hmm. in all the world. Yes. Right. As a witness to all the nations. Mm -hmm. And then the end will come. Mm -hmm. God is saying, and not until my gospel is spread out. Through the entire world. Yes, sir. Yes, See, sir. I'm not going to let it end yes. until everybody yes. has had an opportunity to hear and obey the gospel. Yes, yes sir. Then, now that's the sign you need. All right, preacher. He says, uh, uh, this is a sign. Listen now, church. I want you to understand something. We uh, see signs every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, but seem like we can't pay attention to 
are the signs of lawlessness that is growing day by day. Yes. All right. People are uh, sitting home right now, yes. uh, lying in the bed, yes. sleeping, yes. eating breakfast, yes. at the soccer game, at the baseball games, uh, everywhere but serving God. Yes. Right. Yes. We have forgotten about God. They're not paying attention to the signs of the time. Yes. Yes. We're not paying attention that God could come back at any moment, brother Turner. Yes, yes. So for a minute, I want to talk from the subject. Don't ignore the signs of the time. All right. All right. Don't ignore the signs of the time. Yeah. You know, Brother Turner, when I, in every aspect of life, yes, sir. God will give us a sign yeah. first. Amen. Huh? Yes. When it before it rains. God sent a cloud. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. All right. Before it rained, God sent some thunder yeah. and some light. Mm -hmm. yeah. God always gives us a sign yes. what's about to happen. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. So when we look at these signs, even when a person is about to get the flu, they get a sign. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. 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 See, you don't even have to tell me you got the flu, yeah. Brother Turner. Uh -huh. All I got to do is look at the sign. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you start calling <laughs> That's a sign. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, I, when this man goes I just got this headache. That's a sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you got a stomachache, that's a sign. Yeah. That yeah. something is wrong. Yeah. Right. When your throat gets sore, that's a sign. Yeah. God is always. He never left us without a sign. Yes. Wow. Man. Listen. Preach. Man, listen. When you when you get them signs, it's time for you to straighten up and do something. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. If you. If, if you uh, start getting a sign of a cold, Brother Jenner, yes, what sir. you need to do, make some adjustments. Mm -hmm. uh, take you some cough medicals. Mm -hmm. yes, Put on a coat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Put on some socks. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to make some adjustments. Yes. Because you see the signs of something coming on. Yes. So why in the world would you not make adjustments when you see the signs of the time? It's time that we make some adjustments yes, sir. in our lives. Yes. If you haven't been serving God, uh, it's time that you make some adjustments. Yes. Man, we get sick, we run to the drugstore so quick. Yeah. Why? Because we're trying to prepare for what's about to happen. Yes. Yes. Man, you have cough syrup and tissue all outside the bed, go buy soup, orange juice, because you prepare <laughs> for the time. <laughs> But God has shown you all these times yes. yes. that these signs that He could come back at any moment. Yes, sir. Yes. And you got the nerve to lay up in the bed on Sunday morning. Yes, sir. Do something other than serving God on Sunday morning. Go out, go to church. All right. We got the. Uh, somebody said, "Brother, I ain't too good at signs." Well, let's see. <laughs> when we drive. Ah, uh, there's what we call a stop sign. Mm -hmm. yeah. Huh? Amen. Now you know what I'm talking about. Huh? Mm -hmm. That stop sign is uh, to award you that there's some danger coming up if you don't stop. That's yeah. right. The Bible is our stop sign. Yeah. That there's some danger ahead yeah. if you don't stop. Yeah. The Bible wants us to stop doing any and everything that's against the word of God. Amen. Yeah. Sometimes we get out and we get to moving too fast. Mm -hmm. And then we see what we call a yield sign. Right. Yeah. That means you got to let something go by first. Right. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You, you let it go by first. Yeah. So we understand that we got a stop sign, a yield sign. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then when we go places, uh, even in the back of the church, we got an exit sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get y'all to see this sign. Y'all right? yeah, yeah, acting like I'm bored. You want to see these signs? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. give me a sign. They give me a sign. Don't turn up. They don't want to hear me this I'm going to keep on anyway. Listen. When you're going somewhere. Yes, sir. To your favorite place. Yeah. Uh, uh, you check in to see if there's an open sign. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. Then uh, uh, we see a for sale sign, mm -hmm. yeah. a rent sign. Mm -hmm. uh, even when a woman uh, 
has been with a man, uh, God gives us a sign. All right. uh -huh. And she starts sticking out of it. Uh -huh. yeah. You can't hide that. Because mm -hmm. after a while, this going to be a sign. All right. Yeah. shows us 
what it wants us to see. Amen. 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 All we see is bad. Yeah. 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 All bad. But there is some good in the world. Yeah. And so we start thinking, man, this got to be the last days. Mm. But the world doesn't show you the goodness of God. Amen. It doesn't show you what God is doing in the life of man. Amen. You think there's not no good stuff going on in the world? Yes, there's plenty good in the world. Yes. Yes. But the devil, uh, we are so focused on our television. I'm guilty. I'm guilty, bro. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. I'm so focused on our television. Mm -hmm. Man, we don't got. Man, I don't know about anybody else, but me and my wife, we're ridiculous. Uh, we we sleep with the remotes in the bed. Yeah. Uh, the remotes seem like they're some little kids. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> man. Two of them are trying to flip it on. Yeah. I couldn't get no sleep. I got a preacher in the morning. My wife got the TV on at 3 o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep. Listen, <laughs> Brother Tim, I'm here to let you know that we got to show signs that we are faithful toward God. Amen. 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 So you can tell, I don't care, you can have a person that's uh, at the building every time the doors are open. Yes. Yeah. But that person is going to show you signs when they are away from the church building of how yes. they really are. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Amen. Right Amen. Amen. See, we got to start going home with some folks. Amen. Huh? Amen. We got to start going home. But see, you worried about it, the preacher is looking through your womb. <laughs> but what you don't understand is God is already standing right next to you. Yes, huh? that's it. Yeah. That's it. God is everywhere yeah. at all times. Yeah. You can't miss God. Amen. You can't hide from God. Let me tell you something. When we we got to have, we got to show people in the world the sign that we are faithful for God. Amen. Amen. We got to have more of some of this. In Galatians chapter 5, beginning at verse number 22. Yeah. Galatians 5, beginning at verse number 22. But the fruit of the Spirit. Yeah. Listen, I want you to see something now. Okay. See, when you want to show a sign, I want to put this in the church, in your home, with your children, All right. on your job, mm -hmm. everywhere you go. I want you to know that Paul told the church at Galatia, he said, but the fruits of the Spirit. See, you know what? See, Paul is saying, now look, if you got a tree and you want to know what kind of tree it is, mm -hmm. look what kind of fruit it bears. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So Paul is saying, uh, one of these fruits that come, that fall from this tree is the fruit of love. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, uh, listen to that trick. I want y'all to see this now. You got to show your spouse yeah. some love. Amen. Yeah. See, uh, it's enough. It's one thing to say, I love you. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to behave like you love that person. Yes. Yeah. See, my wife don't ever have to tell me I love you. I don't have to hear it. Yeah. Ain't nothing I got to hear. Yeah. I need to see it. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. I need to see it. Amen. Now, if I don't hear it or see it, we got a problem. Yeah. <laughs> huh? yeah. I'm not stuck on the word. I hear you. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. But I, now, if a person want to hear it, that's fine. You need to say it too. I know ladies are different than men. Amen. Because yeah. yes, see, what I need to see ain't in words. It don't come out your mouth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's an action. Mm -hmm. And so, I, and even last night, I showed my wife some love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Took her out to a nice dinner and everything, Brother Chum. Yeah. yeah. Showed her some love. And I didn't say I love. Yeah. But she know I do. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Listen now, if your, if your wife don't know you love her, mm -hmm. uh, that's a bad sign. Mm. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. She's gonna start giving you a sign after <laughs> Listen now. I want you to see this another fruit. Uh, a spirit that we need the, another sign of a good fruit. Mm -hmm. 
joy. Mm -hmm. You know, church, we need to show more joy. Amen. In the building. Amen. Amen. Uh, in our home. Yeah. yeah. See, anytime you can be joyful, because sometimes over the lifespan, we go through certain things. And tribulations and, and heartaches, and sometimes it makes us bitter. Yeah. And down and in that process, we lose our joy. Yeah. We forget how to be happy. Yeah. We don't show the signs of a happy person. Yeah. We don't show the signs that God. Now listen, when you're driving that nice fancy car, <laughs> man, you ought to be smiling. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When my kid folk drove up, I'm going to pick on him now. Come on now. When he drove up in that nice, shiny, black BMW. Yes. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Listen now. When you drive in a car like that, yeah. every time you go out there, and I know you got a remote start. Yeah. <laughs> every time you hit that remote start, yeah. uh, you ought to thank you, God. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. Huh? Yeah. Not just because uh, you could be walking. But not only am I not walking, God has blessed me somehow to drive an automobile. Amen. You know, when I look at Dallas Hillside members, I see nothing but fine automobiles. Everybody home that I've been to. Nothing but fine home. Brother Turner got a, a, a man cave. <laughs> I, I, I was saying, Brother Turner, the man cave. Yeah. Now, you ought to be thanking God. Yeah. He's got a man cave. Yeah. Listen now, uh, uh, we all have things to be blessed by. Yes. And we need to show more joy in the world. Yeah. We, we, we find too much time to be angry yeah. and upset yeah. when God has blessed you. Listen, I'm telling you now. Yes, sir. I'm telling you now. Sometimes even on our job, sometimes on my job, I, I, I get uh, a little beside myself, bro. Yeah. Sometimes I, I, I get out of that old work truck of mine, and uh, at the man and uh, at the job, they told me, "Now you want to drive this old truck until we uh, uh, get some more fleet in there." Yeah. Uh huh. So, bro, you know, one guy just said, man, I drove that truck about two years. One man said, I drove it about uh, a year. Uh -huh. I drove that old truck about a month. And that's thing I know, I had a brand spanking new van. Mm -hmm. They done bought me on my job. Mm -hmm. yeah. To do, I don't pay for no gas. You know what I'm saying, bro, yeah. 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 My job is five minutes from the house. Uh -huh. yeah. So, sometimes, I, when I get beside myself, yes. and I feel like I don't want to go to work, yeah. then I have to think about when I was hoping. Uh, yeah. But some people said, hey, you start my huh? yeah. uh, uh, yeah. hey, hey. Sometimes we get complacent. Yeah. Sometimes we forget the blessing yeah. that God has given us. Yeah. 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 Right some of you brothers and sisters, I'm going to do a little better, then I'm going to move on. All right. Huh? Go ahead. Listen, brother. When that little woman that you I met, yeah. uh, that little man, that you met. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, he was looking at you and you was looking at him. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, she was so cute. Yeah. There was something about it. Yeah. He was so handsome. Yeah. There was something about it. Yeah. Yeah. But now you've got the attitude yeah. uh, that they get on your neck. Yeah. You can't stand it. Yeah. Uh, but at one time, that was a cute, you was afraid to even approach it. Yeah. yeah. She got your heart jumped. Yeah. Uh, you're so man, I should hope you don't turn it down. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now you can't stand her mm. no, uh, uh, All yeah. right, preacher. Listen. Yeah. Then you talk about the divorce rate. Mm. There's gonna be some signs after a while. Yeah. Uh, somebody gonna start coming home later. Mm. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Somebody uh, is gonna uh, start tipping. Yeah. Somebody is going to start coming up missing. Mm. Yeah. yeah, see, uh, my wife, uh, she thinks she slipped. <laughs> she put up, now, she, uh, uh, now I know she did it for the girls. You know yeah. I'm saying that? Uh -huh. 
But I didn't have to have nothing to do with that. Right. But she put us on this 360. Some of y'all know what that is. That three, life 360. Yeah. You can trap, you can trap a person. Right. <laughs> I ain't did nothing to be trapped. <laughs> Amen. I ain't never done nothing to be trapped. Amen. Listen. Uh, listen. I Man. I don't want it. You don't want it. Huh? Listen. <laughs> but I understand what it is. I understand that some happen, she can find me. Yeah. Uh -huh. I might come up missing. Yeah. Uh huh. That's all right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But my point of it is, is that we have to trust one another. Amen. Uh, we got to get back to loving. One another. Yeah. Right. We gotta show uh, your partner that uh, that's a sign. Now my mother told me she said, "Don't use that word partner." So yeah. That's what they use in the homosexual community. Yeah. But I told her, I said, "But that's my partner." I don't Amen. Care how Amen. Amen. That's still my partner. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's Amen. still my partner in life. Yeah. yeah. I don't use it like they use. It. Right. Let me yeah. move on, bro. I'm on my clock. I'm on the clock. I'm on the clock. <laughs> Listen. He says, ah, ah, you need to show some signs, some fruit of some peace. Yeah. Amen. Some signs of patience. Mm -hmm. Some signs of kindness. Mm -hmm. Some signs of goodness. Yeah. Some signs of faithfulness. Yeah. Some signs of gentleness. Yeah. Some signs of self-control. All right. Yeah. Then he says, such uh, is there is no love. In yeah. other words, there's nothing against. Uh, being nice. There's no law. God never said don't have peace. Mm -hmm. yeah. God never said don't have joy. All right. Yeah. God never said don't be long suffering. Yes. Yeah. God never said don't have faithfulness. All right. yeah. God never said don't have gentleness. God didn't right. give us a law to cut off these things. No. Yeah. So we need to show more signs. Oh yeah. Of what's yeah. going on? Amen. As I move on to a close. When we look at the government, the signs of a perverse generation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The signs of a perverse yes. generation. Yes, sir. When you look at the person that holds the highest uh, office in America, yes, the top job of the United States of America. Yes. When we have a person that's talking about women. Yeah. Cursing in uh, uh, on the television. Yeah. Uh, to find people because they don't do what he said to do. Yeah. When we see all the things of a top-notch person, yeah. then we see the corruption in the world. Man. When we have a homosexual man running for president mm -hmm. and getting votes, yeah. it's a perverse generation. Yeah. I want you to turn with me to Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. I want you to see this now. Romans chapter 1. Yeah. Romans chapter 1, church. And I, I want everybody, you know, I talked to Alice Hillside how to go through them pages now. Yeah. Uh, Romans chapter 1, beginning at verse number 21. Romans okay. chapter 1, beginning at verse number 21. That's it. Because all they, they knew God. Wait a minute now. You got some folks that's cutting up even though they know God. All right. Yeah. He said they did not glorify God. Mm -hmm. Nor uh, were they thankful. But because uh, they were futile. Now that word means pointless. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. That word means pointless. Yeah. That means it's, it, they are incapable of producing any useful results. All right. Ooh, that's all. Right. All right. If somebody calls you futile, yeah. that means you are pointless. Mm. Yeah. That means you are incapable of producing any type of good result. All right. So he said these people are futile. Mm. They can't, they, they, they done got to the point where they are pointless. Yeah. He says in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were dark. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, professing to be wise, they became fools. Mm -hmm. He said, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God unto an image made like a corruptible man. Mm -hmm. He said, and birds and four-footed animals and creeping things. 
He said, therefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness. Yeah. Uh, in the lust of their own hearts. Mm -hmm. To dishonor their own bodies uh -huh. yeah. among themselves. God said, look, I'm going to let you have it. Mm -hmm. He yeah. said, I, I see what you're doing. Yeah. You know about me. Yeah. He said, but it's pointless for me uh, to deal with you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you have it your way. All right. And then he says, he says, therefore God also gave them up to uncleanness yeah. and the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies among themselves who changed the truth of God for a lie. Yeah. And worship and serve the creature rather than the creator. creator. Yeah. Who is blessed forever. Amen. All right. For this reason, God gave them up to vile passions. For even their women exchanged the nature used out for what is against the nature. He said, likewise also, the men are leaving the natural use of a woman. Burn in the lust for one another. A uh, man with men mm. committing what is shameful mm. and receiving the, themselves uh, the penalty of their error, which yes. is due. All right. He said, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, yes. God gave them over to an, a, a, a base mind yes. or a, a King James said a reprobate mind yes. to do those things which are not fit. You know what God said, look, if your mind has become so corrupt, God said, I'm going to let you have it your way. Yeah. He said, I'm going to let you have it your way. We look at the signs of the time. Yes. Yes. My wife and I, we are, I told you, we, we some television people, but we've been bag up off all that television. Yeah, we 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 gonna do some more constructive type of thing. Yeah. Uh, I know so. y'all might want to say amen. amen. Some y'all listen to your titties we are. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. amen. I know some of y'all got some shows saved uh, from the DVR. Don't act like we don't want to watch too much TV. And uh, listen, uh, uh, when you think about it, me and my wife, we struggle to find a show where there's no homosexual happening. Yes. Uh, we struggle to find a show where uh, there are not two men uh, kissing and hugging up and playing in the bed together. The sign of the time. Amen. We used to have shows like Big Bird Doc where him and his wife, they didn't even sleep in the same bed. I love Lucy. Yeah. Her and Ricky didn't even sleep in the same bed. That's it. Now we got two men in the same bed. Oh, if that ain't a sign, I don't know what a sign is. Right? Right? Come on, right? 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 We got men. Amen. Right? 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 Muscle men. Yes, sir. Athletes. Yes. Uh, and I'm going to say it. I know some of y'all ain't going to like it. I'm going to say it. I'm my Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Uh, Sideline. Yeah. Men with hair coming down their back. Yeah. Uh, nose rings. Yeah. Stuff that uh, men in my time. Yeah. In my time. Right. Your daddy wouldn't dare let you work. Amen. Huh? Right. Your daddy wouldn't dare let you wear your hair. Take down your hair. Uh, 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 nose ring. Yeah. Uh, ear ring. Yeah. Uh, uh, listen, when yeah. back in the day, your hair could just get that much too long. And uh, they sending you to the box. <laughs> huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. The sign of the time. Yeah. Go to Walmart. Yeah. Girls have to skirt all the way up. You can see everything. Yeah. Then they wear these yoga pants. Yeah, what you call them? Yoga daddy brother term. But where they just they put them up there like spandex pants or something. <laughs> but uh, and then they have a shirt up to here. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, you can see everything. It's just black. Yeah. <laughs> uh, everything is showing. Yeah. Signs of the time. Yeah. Amen. It used to be, man, I don't know the last time I seen a woman in a long dress. Oh, mm. have mercy. Have mercy. Even the little kids, uh, they selling clothes for the little kids. Yeah. They die showing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Right. For yeah. little kids. Yeah. The sign of the time. Yeah. yeah. Preach. You're preaching. And then we have a nerve not to want to serve God. Mm. When you're looking at all this evilness in the world. Yeah. People Amen. killing children. Mm. Uh, just on the news the other day, little girl got killed. Yeah. Another little girl killed before that week. 
And at the end of our 2019, about three kids got killed. Yeah. Oh, that's right. And we're looking at the sign of the time. Yeah. Looking at how society has changed us. We're letting our children do anything. Drugs is taking over our Amen. children. Yeah. 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 You're right, preacher. Parents let their kids do things uh, because uh, the other kids are doing it. Mm. Yeah. But we gotta have a Christian household. Amen, yes, sir. Yes. Preach. Listen, I'm here to tell you. Preach. When we look around, look at the language of people. Yeah. I'm in the field all day. Yeah. Going to places, uh, upscale places, but yeah. working on their network systems and supposed to be educated people. Yeah, seem like they can't say two words without cursing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It ain't my job to train them. Mm -hmm. huh? I can't go in and say, man, won't you stop that cursing? If his mama didn't tell him to stop, <laughs> I'm not going to tell him to stop. <laughs> now, if you come into the house of God, yeah. that's another thing. Amen. 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 But I don't go on somebody's job and tell them how to behave. Amen. Yeah. You're right, brother. Right. So y'all got to say amen now. Amen. Some of us need to learn how to behave. My time is going short. Free. Some of us need to learn how to behave on our job. Yeah. Right. Some of us, we still going to happy out mm. yeah. with the cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> still going out for drinks yeah. with the cold. Yeah. Still clubbing uh, at with the cold. Yeah. Yeah. We got to stop being like the world right. and start being like God. Yeah. Yeah. When we look at Matthew chapter 17 and verse number 17. That's it. Jesus said, oh, unbelieving and perverse mm -hmm. generation. All yeah. right. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, have mercy. He says, uh, unbelieving and perverse generation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, I want y'all, before I move ahead, I know you guys have heard that before, that perverse generation. Mm -hmm. huh? But let me give you a definition of that perverse generation, all right? Yeah. Now, uh, that perverse generation, uh, that that word means a uh, corrupt generation. Yeah. Uh, that word means uh, it's, a, it's a generation that's opposed. Uh, a distorted generation. Uh, uh, it, it's showing a deliberate and obstinate desire to have uh, to behave in a way that is unreasonable or unacceptable, often uh, in spite of uh, the consequences. In other words, this generation has gotten to the point we don't care. We're going to do it, and we don't care what happened to us. Amen. You're right. We don't yeah. care what the results are. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we're going to enjoy for that moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right? And then he said, uh, it is contrary to uh, contrary to the accepted or expected standard of practice. Uh oh, that means whatever we know, what God has put in place, a perverse generation is gonna do the opposite Amen. of what God has said was right. Amen. All right. Amen. That's what Jesus said. This is a perverse. Yeah. Generation. Yeah. It's a corrupt generation. Yeah. They're going to do the opposite yes. of what's right. Yes, yeah. sir. Listen now. Listen. I got a few more minutes. When we look at Deuteronomy 32 and verse 5. Deuteronomy 32 and verse number 5. Yeah. Moses says they are corrupt mm -hmm. uh, and not his children. Mm -hmm. To their shame. They are a walked and crooked generation. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Right. I believe he's talking about now. Yeah, yeah. Huh? He was yeah. talking about then and he's talking about now. That's yeah. right. Now he was talking about the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. He was talking about some of the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. And everything that God had done for them and their our ancestors. Now Moses is saying, you are a corrupt and perverse generation. Yes. Even after everything that God has done for you. Amen. God brought you out of bondage. Yes. Man. Brought you to the land of promise. Yes. yes. Get your land that flows with milk yes. and honey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Let you stand in the wilderness for 40 years. And the clothes never go out. Amen. Brought your breakfast in bed every morning. Yeah. But quail from the uh, sea and brought matter from heaven. 
big house. Yes. Got a big bank account. Yes. Drive a fine car. Yes. You got health and you still don't serve God the way. All right, preacher. Oh, man. Man. Preach. I'm just trying to get somebody oh, to see you this. Today. He says, he says, but be a light to this generation. Yes. Yes. He said, this is a corrupt generation. Yes. But Moses said, but I want you to be a light to this kind of, uh, uh, generation. Mm -hmm. And then Jesus said, in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14, he said, you are the what? The light okay. of the world. Yes. Okay. Huh? Yes. We are the light of the world. Don't turn up. We are the people that other people look up to. All right. Yes. Listen, I know some of y'all looking for a sign. I'm almost done. Uh, I know y'all looking for a sign. I, I'm almost done. I, 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 bro, turn the seat. I, I'm still, I still got plenty of time. But I'm not here. Listen, now, let's move on. Let's move on. I'm going to give you a sign. I'm just a man. Look, church, I want you to be a light to this new generation. Yeah. Yeah. This new generation of children are ridiculous. Yes. Huh? Yes. This new generation uh, of parents are ridiculous. Yes. All right. I'm not calling you ridiculous. But I'm just saying overall. Yes. This new generation of how we do things with our children is ridiculous. Yes. Amen. And so Paul uh, wrote in Philippians 2 and verse number 14. Uh, Philippians 2, 14 and 15. He said, do all things without grumbling or dispute." So that you may be blameless and pure. Yeah. Children of God without fault in a crooked and perverse generation. Yeah. In which you shine as lights in the world. Yeah. He said, right. even though we are in a crooked generation, mm -hmm. he said, I want you to shine as lights in the world. Yeah. Yeah. I'm right, I'm almost done. Y'all give me a sign. All right. Uh -huh. Y'all y'all getting restless now. Y'all give me a sign. Acts 2 and verse 14. Acts 2 and verse 40, brother. Acts 2 and verse 40. And then we'll be at our conclusion. Acts 2 and verse 40. And with many other words, uh, he bore witness and continued uh, to exhort them, saying, Save yourself. That's it. From this crooked generation. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. You better get to the point you're trying to save yourself. All right. That's, That's it. it. That's See, it. some of us, listen. Your soul is counting on you to save it. Amen. You have your soul in your hands to save it. Amen. If you don't make it to heaven, it's because you didn't want to go. Amen. 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 That's the Amen. 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 The only way you will miss heaven is because you don't want to go. Come on. God has left uh, the word for his church. Amen. He left instructions. Yeah. Word for word. Yes. Turn for turn. Yes, sir. How to get to heaven. Yes, sir. So if you don't make it, it's because you didn't want to go. Listen, Paul says uh, in 2 Timothy 4, uh, 2 Timothy 3, Paul says, but know this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, mm -hmm. lovers of money, yes. boastful, pride, abusive, disobedient to their parents, mm. ungrateful, well we got a lot of ungrateful, All right. yeah. ungrateful, unholy, without love, yeah. unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, yeah. brutal, not lovers of, uh, of good, yeah. treacherous, uh, 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 contentious, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Yeah. Paul said it best himself in 2 Timothy 4 uh, in verse number 3. That's he said right. a time will come yeah. when men will not endure sound God. Yeah. And after their own lust, they heap to themselves teachers, have them itching ears, and they yeah. turn their ears away from the truth and yes. their fables. Yes. And the time is here. 
Now in our conclusion, I want you to know this. I've told you everything about the sign. Yes. Yeah, right. Signs when we go out in the world. Signs uh, when we look at nature gives us a sign. Mm -hmm. yeah. Listen, man, it was uh, cold one day and hot the next. Mm -hmm. yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, when you look at the sign, yeah. right. people yeah. can't even get out uh, uh, well because one day it's cold and in the morning it's freezing yes. and in the evening it's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Signs of the time. Yeah. 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 So if you get all these signs, what are you saying, Brother Smith? I'm saying, listen to Peter. In 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse number 9. 2 Peter 3 and verse number 9. Yeah. He said, the Lord is not slack. Uh, uh, not, uh, another word would be used is slow. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord is not slow concerning his promise. Yeah. As some men count slackness. Yeah. He said, but he is long suffering. God is showing you all of these signs. Mm -hmm. He's showing his long suffering. Yeah. We had homosexuals back in the beginning of time yeah. in Genesis yeah. with Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. Now it's 2020. God is not slack concerning yeah. his promise. Yeah. He's long suffering. Yeah. He's been letting this junk go around for a long time. Yeah. Uh, homosexual yeah. is not something brand new. Come on, it's been around it. for a long time. Yeah. God is what he's long Peter said, A uh, day yeah. is to a thousand to God, yeah. and a thousand is to a day. Yeah. We all stop sitting around looking, going, looking out the window, on, trying man. to see if God is coming back, <laughs> worried about what's going on. Yeah. You just do right by God yeah. and be ready. Amen. Come on, he told the church in Revelation chapter 2 and verse number 10, He said, Be thou faithful unto yeah. them. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. See, when, when they buried me, I want them to say, Russell Smith was faithful. Yeah. yeah. All the way up. Yeah. 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 He said, But God is long suffering toward us. Yeah. Not willing that any should perish, but that we all come to repent. Yes. Yeah. That word means you're going to turn around. Yeah. You're going to repent. You're going to stop doing what you've been doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're going to stop hanging out from church uh, from God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're going to straighten up and uh, prepare yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Heaven is a prepared place yeah. for a prepared yeah. people. Wow. You're right. Amen. 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 Right. That's yeah. it. That's it. Ain't gonna be no jumping line. Uh -huh. yeah. Skipping line. <laughs> yeah, skipping line. <laughs> yeah. Ain't gonna be no standing out in the hall. Mm -hmm. huh? You gotta find somewhere to go. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Huh? Yeah. You can't just, you know, in high school, we don't want to go to class, so we just hang out in the hall somewhere. Yeah. You can't hang out in the hall for eternity. All right. right. You're going to find, sooner or later, you got to find somewhere to go. That's it. You're going to have to go down or up. Yeah. All right. Listen. Listen. You come by hearing the word. Romans 10, 17. So in faith, come by hearing. You can hear it by the word of God. If you heard the word, you must believe it. Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that come to God must believe that he is and that he is the reward of them that diligently seek him. Yeah. So if you heard it, you believe it, you must repent. Uh, Acts 17, Acts 17, 30. The time of this evening is God with them, but now command men everywhere to repent. Yeah. Yeah. You heard it, Brother Turner. You yeah. believe it. Uh, uh, you repent it, now you must confess. Mm -hmm. yeah. Romans 10, 10. But with the heart, man believes on the righteousness, but with the mouth, confession is made. Yes. And then, uh, after you uh, confess that sweetest name, known to all the time, uh, you must go down in that watery grave of baptism. You need to be like the eunuch uh, that says, See, here's water. Yes, Acts sir. chapter 8. Yes. What did it mean to be baptized? Yes. And then Philip said, if you believe with all your heart that yes. Jesus Christ is the Son of God, you may. He said, I, I believe. And they both went down into the water, both the eunuch and Philip. They went down in the water and came up out of the water. And Peter preached the first gospel sin on the day of Pentecost. In Acts chapter 2 and verse number 37 and 38. After the men from all nations had heard this gospel sin, they said, what shall we do? Peter yes. said, repent. Yes. And be baptized. Yes. Yes, Every one of you 
in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. If that be your desire, and if you uh, want to be added to God's church, I'm going to ask you to stand now. Just stand and sing the song. The Lord's I'm waiting.